brawls aren't even the worst part of my job. Sure, you may take a beating, but at least you get the chance to defend yourself. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. Your legs cramp up, your back and neck feel stiff, your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's boring and repetitive. You're allowed to go in there, sir. Just pose as the um, dude from Texas. I mean, hell, you did once. People were finally leaving the place. The bar was about to close. And I hadn't seen Mitchell go in or out. I had no choice. I see you took me up on my invitation. And you're smart. You knew not to come until my anti-fur regulars had all cleared out. Anti-fur? Can't say no to good advice. Or good bourbon. Good lord, y'all just took that. <laughs> He's looking at you, Mr. Uh, what was your name? As far as I knew, La Iguana always stayed neutral. He played poker with Cassidy, but his joint was used as a gambling drop-off for O'Leary's operation. Did it make sense to keep faking it? Or was it too dangerous not to? Farnham. Howard M. Farnham II. That's right. Howard Farnham from Ding Dong, Texas. You're natural. That sure beats your poker game. Ah, uh, this here's much easier. No cheating. <laughs> you barely flinched when Cassidy decided to teach that eagle a lesson. What do you want a fella to say? If Cassidy hadn't ordered his barber to kill that son of a bitch, I'd have done it myself. Some of God's creatures just don't deserve to live. Tell me. What do you really- I can't say it. it's- Well, nobody's perfect. What? I'm looking to start a boxing manager's association in Texas. I could really use Cassidy's know-how. Don't worry about it. I was only curious. So, what about me? What do you want from me? No one comes to La Iguana just to drink and play pool. I'm here looking for a regular of yours. Dr. Angus Mitchell. What for? We fought together during the war. I just wanted to say hi. Sure. Tell you what, I'll talk to Mitchell. Come back tomorrow night. You don't understand. I have to talk to him or else. Or else what? I don't feel like he can be threatened. But I feel You'll like be losing your fun. chance to make a pretty penny. I know how to reward my allies. You think I'd spend my time in this dump if all I cared about was the money? Please, cut the crap. Anything else? I don't think Cassidy would be too happy about the role this here dump plays in old Leary's gambling operation. You follow me? Son of a bitch. <laughs> all right. Give me your phone number. And I'll give you a call when Mitchell shows up. No. You're gonna call him right now. And you're gonna give him this message. Oh, shit. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. Your legs cramp up. Why the fuck your the, back and neck the feel voice stiff. lines keep fucking your up? Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. Or was it supposed to replay? It's boring and repetitive. It's so bad that your thoughts spiral in a never-ending loop. Like when you're stuck in your car, on surveillance duty. The owner of La Iguana was supposed to tell Mitchell that a certain anteater was still alive, and that it was only a matter of time 
before he ratted him out. With a bit of luck, that would make him nervous enough to force his hand. Now all I had to do was follow him. You tell me he didn't see that this one car was following him in this dark ass place? What the fuck you up to? Oh shit. Use your cat senses. What the fuck they saying? We'll be just fine, don't worry. Gil, stand guard right here. If the cat shows up, you know what to do. I'll be back okay, in Okay, so an he hour. knows that... So he knows that I'm on his trail. And that he's going to kill me if... He sees me. So I either gotta try to sneak past him or beat the shit out of him. I like how he's staring directly at where I was. Looks like things won't be easy. Did they only make one gun model or something? Why do all of them look the exact same? Could I take him by surprise from over there? Although I don't know how I'd get there. You know, like, Rapunzel or somebody will be, like, real nice right now. Like, let down your hair, bitch. I need help. <laughs> well, fuck. I feel like I gotta walk up here and then fucking be an acrobat and shit. Yeah, it's pointing me to this way, anyways. No? What do they expect me to do? I just took a whole lap around this place and I have not seen. When you wanna be silent, noise can be your best ally. Okay. Yeah, I took a whole lap around this place. What kind of bullshit? I'm just saying, I feel like I could have got up there by now. If this was a real life situation, I think that I would have been able to get up there without whatever way they're fucking trying to get me to do. I feel like this is lit up for a reason. What the fuck is this motherfucker about to get me to do? <laughs> I'm just saying, ain't no way it's that quiet. That motherfucker has to be louder than that. What if it was tall enough and he just saw the forklift rising over to the building like, what the fuck? Uh -huh. 
pounce on that motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh. oh damn, don't pounce on him. Don't don't do that. Why'd you growl first, motherfuckers? Don't fucking growl and make sound. The fuck? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah, go up the ladder. See if we can get in from the roof or some shit. Now I am the Rapunzel. I did mess up a guy's face with an extinguisher once, but this kind is too heavy for my current needs. Oh, the extinguisher. Okay. I feel like that is not going to take a bullet. Okay, maybe it did. <laughs> Prove me wrong. I'm sorry. You gotta take the gun too, sir. I'm just saying. And the, and the shield they use. Did you kill that motherfucker? His eyes are still open. Oh, hello there! You telling me you couldn't help out? Like throwing a baseball at his ass or some shit? You gonna sit there and watch the whole time and you ain't gonna do shit. Hello there, people. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you next time.